Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Carla and today is military housing cleaning and rearranging. If you're new around here, we are a military family in the Coast Guard stationed in California currently. But in this military housing clean with me, you're going to see lots of areas in my home today. And I'm also rearranging my coffee bar and also rearranging some items in the living room. So tons going on with cleaning motivation in this video as well. And thank goodness you are here for today's video. Tons of motivation. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. I did a couple of military housing cleaning videos. I will have linked here and down below in the description if you guys want to check those out as well. They're all super motivational. That's what I love to provide here on my channel. It's just a real life cleaning, some cleaning tips and motivation for you. And as you saw, we started in the kitchen kitchen today then we're going to move into the master bedroom because I was tired of being in the kitchen I can only stand being in there for so long before just getting tired of it that's like real life <laughs> So this includes part of my cleaning morning routine. I always like to empty the dishwasher first thing in the morning or as soon as I, I'm done dropping off the boys at school. And while making breakfast for Abby and I, I like to empty the dishwasher and then clean as I go. And then after getting the kitchen picked up after breakfast, I like to make my cup of coffee for the day to get started with that. I just wanna give you all my grits. And then we're going to move into the master bedroom to get that cleaned up. And I actually set a timer for this bedroom. I didn't want to spend a lot of time in here. I wanted to get in and out, you know, no messing around. I just wiped down all of the furniture and made the bed in that bedroom. And before getting into this clean with me even more, I wanted to introduce to you guys a friend. Her name is Lizzie from It's Lizzie and she has a great, awesome cleaning motivational channel. I highly recommend it, great quality and she's just a really sweet person. 
I'm going to leave her channel linked down below and I'll have it at the end as well so you can directly go to her channel after you're done watching here and let her know that I sent you. Make sure to watch the video that we're collaborating on. She is doing a messy house cleaning renovation. So tons of renovation in today's video combined with hers. But so glad we're doing this collab. She is doing so awesome on her channel. Like I said, I'd love for you guys to go check out her channel and show her video some love as well. So if you are new around here, I just want to really welcome you to the space in my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I've had a little bit of some hiccups with my pregnancy. It is my fourth pregnancy. And I did a whole update on my Instagram. Pretty much comes down to the baby has an irregular heartbeat. So the baby's going to have a heart echo in the future, probably this week or next week but nothing you can do right now because the baby's in utero but that's with the baby and then for me as far as my body i've been having lots of cramping so they just want me to rest so i just wanted to point out that this video was filmed before all of that happened this week so just a little fyi i've been really trying to take it easy which is extremely hard but i'm trying to think of the baby and i of course just so we are safe and whatnot but I will have to say as of today, today is a Wednesday, September 22nd. I really do feel better. The cramping has gone down almost like to nothing. Every once in a while I get some cramping, but I'm just trying to heal my body from having the really bad cramping earlier this week, which I explained on my Instagram. On Instagram, you can get like up-to-date daily updates versus YouTube. It's a little bit behind on YouTube, but if you want to follow along, go follow on Instagram. And I appreciate those that have been just sending us well wishes and prayers. I just really do appreciate it. All right, so that gray blanket and then the blue pink blanket. So I've had this one since like last year. It's from Costco. I've talked about it in recent videos because we are so obsessed with them. Like everyone in my house reaches for this blanket. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It's like the perfect amount of warmth. And I try to get rid of the blue one because it doesn't match with like fall, but like I put it on the stairs to go upstairs and it did not last long before somebody went and grabbed it and brought it back in here. But Costco has tons of colors and they have a white one. So I think I'm going to definitely buy the white one because the white one will match everything and we don't typically eat here in the living room. So hopefully we can make that work. And I always get the twin size. They are very large. But, I was talking to my husband, I'm like, so we can cuddle even more, I'm going to get the queen one. But they are just really, really soft, and I really like them. Like I said, our kids reach for these, and they're just, I can't rave about them enough. I kind of wish I would have raved about them like a lot sooner, but I realized after getting this gray one, the second one, which is the one I got for fall, I realized, okay, everyone literally reaches for those two blankets, no matter like what I have out. I put the other blankets over here for right now because I'm going to move this, I think over here. And yeah, like it was just like a lot over there with the basket and then the side table, so. Let me know what y'all think about that.
have all of these like bulkier toys over here in this corner. So I think I'm going to put this basket over there. Because it just has like Okay, so in my opinion, I feel like it does look better. I think I'm going to do like a big tapestry thing, like something big and substantial right there, or like a wall basket, something like that, because that little shelf is just not working for me because we have this shelf, and I just, it's just not working. So I think like just one big piece will make a huge statement. And like our reality right now is that we have another baby on the way. Toys are not going anywhere right now. And we also know it's also just a phase of our lives right now because the boys got out of that phase where they didn't have toys around 24 seven. So we know it's not gonna last like forever and they can keep their toys in their bedrooms, you know? But for right now, a lot of our toys are in the living room because she's with us a lot of the time. Okay, so it does look a little bit better. What do y'all think? This is like the little um, sanctuary section where it's nice and not too much and then bam, all the kid stuff. <laughs> but like I said, I know it's not gonna last forever. I can completely understand that, but let me know if like, I think that that's best for us. And then I put the blankets over here you guys, you just, mm, yeah, we're just gonna ignore this for right now. I don't have the willpower to do this. I do need to find where to put all these blankets. I'll be able to use this green one here shortly for Christmas. And then I guess the boys can use this one right now too, because it's like light. Or maybe Abby can use it. She loves to cuddle. This is like her little <laughs> cuddle section. <laughs> She loves putting um, like the blankets on the ground and then pillows and like laying down on them and getting cozy. She's sweet like that. <laughs> Okay, and then back into the kitchen because that's just real life and getting it done. And then I'll be rearranging my coffee bar area. If you watch my coffee bar area for fall. I had it in the corner here in the kitchen and it was just too much going on. I've been trying really hard to simplify the kitchen because it is a smaller kitchen and any little bit adds to that no matter what is on the counter. So I decided to move it back to like the where the table is and I just think that made a huge difference. Anyway, when I do my Christmas coffee bar, hot cocoa area, that's where I like to do it. That's where I did it last year and it just made so much more sense. So I went ahead and moved it back over there to where our dining table is, which you will see. you million things cause isn't love what it's all about and how to make you smile again something that i want to figure out i want to catch i want to catch you like every time that you fall i want to give you the world the world that is outside your walls if i was god i would save you take you where you belonged if i could i would give 
something new, something new Then I would have what it takes Make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some, someone like you, someone like you So just clearing this area so I can move the little console back into this area. It's where our round mirror in the living room is. So I just cleaned this area and then cleared off the white console and then just moved it into the dining table area. If I could, I would get something new, something new. Then I would have what it takes. Make you feel like you're safe. Cause all I need is just some, someone like you, someone like you. So it definitely looks better. Let me know your thoughts on this. And then on the kitchen counter, it is kept very simple. And because our military housing kitchen is definitely on the smaller side, I like to keep things simple here. It just takes me a while sometimes when I get too excited about putting a new decor up like the fall coffee bar. That is it for today's military housing clean with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, got some cleaning motivation, and maybe you need to move an area around in your home to make it more suitable to you and your liking and your family. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. You guys are seriously the best when you leave me the emojis down below in the comments. So for today's video, we're going to go with a coffee emoji. So leave me a coffee emoji down below in the comments if you made it till the end because in the YouTube algorithm, that means a lot. So just thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. I believe I'll be putting up some Halloween decor. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Bye.